it's important for you to have a really strong mindset. This has been a key for my success, that you are responsible over whatever results that you are getting. Oh, Facebook doesn't work anymore. Instagram doesn't work. Guys, don't say that. It is the actual existing dominating platform in the planet when it comes to capturing attention. Facebook and Instagram, it's incredible. I want you guys to have a mindset here. And this mindset is, Facebook is out there to help you be successful. They wanna be your partners. They wanna get more money from you and they wanna give you more results because as you grow, you're gonna be able to give them more money. And not only that, they're gonna be able to spread the word about their success. You're gonna be a success story for them. And now you also spread the word about your success. So now they keep on growing. This is a snowball effect that they're looking for. So one thing to understand is that when you are failing at something, please don't start blaming Facebook. Blame yourself and try to understand what you could improve along the way because they are working really hard on giving you the tools for you to be successful. Always look at yourself when something is not working. Throughout the years, I've learned this a hard way. Sometimes, because I've been running ads on Facebook for several years, I start running a campaign for a customer and we start getting great results. And then after a while, it starts getting exhausted and my cost starts going up. And I'm like, oh my God, Facebook advertiser, uh, advertising is getting expensive. And now it's not affordable anymore. And now we're going back into the TV era on Facebook and it's close to impossible to advertise. Guys, along the way, I realized that if I sat down and put my attention on it, I can fix whatever is wrong with it. It was always in my hands, whatever results I was going to accomplish. That's something that really empowered me because at that point, this is a cool thing that happens, guys, with this mindset that you're trying to generate. When you are in control, you decide what happens with you. If you are actually putting the responsibility on some other end, whether it is Facebook or your neighbor or your husband or your wife, whatever it that, may, that may be, realize that you are at a point in which you do not control your own destiny. I don't like that. I think that's a recipe for failure. So that's why I think that it's important for you to have a really strong mindset. This has been a key for my success, that you are responsible over whatever results that you are getting. Oh, Facebook doesn't work anymore. Instagram doesn't work. Guys, don't say that. It is the actual existing dominating platform in the planet when it comes to capturing attention. Facebook and Instagram, it's incredible. To give you an example, all the videos that are being consumed in the planet, 80% are on those two platforms. So how is it possible that they don't work? What you gotta find out is, what you gotta figure out is, you yourself, what can you fix? There is always a reason why something is not giving you the results that you want. If you give Facebook the wrong reasons or objectives that you're shooting for, then you might get the wrong results. Let's say that you're trying to get a lot of traffic to your website, but now you run a conversion campaign. Well, that's not traffic to your website. So your results are not the same. Let's say that you're trying to get conversions, meaning sales, but you run a traffic campaign. And then you say, why am I not getting any sales when I'm driving a lot of traffic? Guys, because that's not what you're looking for. You're looking to generate sales. So you have to be able to communicate with Facebook and tell them exactly what you want to accomplish. They want to see you successful. I guarantee you that. They do not want to see advertisers turn around and say, hmm, I tried Facebook, it was a waste of my time and a waste of my money. They are trying as much as possible to avoid that because they know that if that happens a lot, they're gonna come crashing down. From my experience of working with them for the last several years, they've done nothing but keep on optimizing their products, improving it, and in actually investing a ton of energy and money into making their product better and better. Just today, this morning, it's so interesting guys, just when you think that Facebook is running out of space to advertise, they keep on developing new ways and new ways to communicate their messages for brands, for advertisers like us. Just this morning, I saw an article that talks about something that they call TV ads, or they also call smart TV ads, meaning that right now, the Roku devices, Apple TVs, smart televisions, now when you open up the A&E, for example, application to watch different shows, 
Facebook now is able to put ads in there, just like Hulu does. Guys, imagine that. Not only that, do you know that Hulu doesn't have the targeting that Facebook has? I know you can agree with that. Facebook does. So what, is hap what happens here? On a smart TV, you actually log into Facebook. Most people do. So they already have your user information. So if you open up now Cinemax, or if you open up uh, HBO, or if you open up A&E, or NBC, or whatever show that you wanna watch, any app, Facebook has that data. They have agreements with these third party companies, media companies. So now they can put the ads in there. So trust me, they're always figuring out how to give you more and more reach, more and more potential. Things are only getting better. They're not, going, they're not getting worse. They're gonna get better for a while for the next couple of years before it gets a little too expensive. So just go ahead and have the right mentality and understand that the platform, the Facebook platform, the company, wants to see you successful.